is uh, still wet out here this morning. I wanted to plant some flowers and things, but it's awfully wet. Maybe it'll dry off quicker than I think. Everybody's here and doing good. Oh, I gotta clean up last night's mess. The critters don't come and clean out the bowls on their normal schedule. The raccoons, possums, other cats or whatever when we have storms in the evening like that. Let's see how much rain we did or didn't get. We had a half an inch. So, not bad. I'll take it. It should be a beautiful day today, if not just a smidge warm. The birds are definitely serenading me this morning. Hi guys. Good morning. I do love you, but you're acting very caffeinated. You're not usually this perky in the morning. Well, it's, uh, that's right. I've had a cup of coffee. A cup and two or three sips of the second cup. So I'm not fully caffeinated, but I, uh, I'm i caught up on sleep. I yeah. think that's the problem. Yeah, he gets... Yeah, yes, that's, that's the problem. She doesn't like me when I'm fully slept. <laughs> oh, goodness. I hear all the mowers. It is Monday, however. Monday equal... Mo, mo. M equal M. Yeah. It's really nice out here with the cl cloud cover, breeze, lower temps. Still supposed to be 85 this afternoon and sticky though. Oh, there goes a bunny. Don's inside the baseball field picking up trash. We did around the fields. The guy's just starting to mow over here, so. It's always helpful where we can get up the weekend trash before they actually mow. Because it just makes it into little pieces. Anyway, he ran into the ball field. There were several bottles on the other side of the fence that we couldn't reach. It's just, just really sad. I walked over to the playground area and picked up a bunch of trash over there. And it's a lot of people had a candy bar took the corner off at the tear line, threw that on the ground. Maybe they actually got the rest of the wrapper into the trash can. And it's like, you know, honest, kids don't burn enough calories on the playground to need a candy bar. And then when you give them a candy bar and all those empty calories, they just, it doesn't satisfy their hunger. So they end up eating more to try to do that. And, it's just frustrating. How about we not feed kids candy bars just because they sat on the swing and somebody pushed them on the playground? It's not good for them. And apparently it's not good for the environment either. Well, you have done an excellent job this morning. I talked to Derek. That's the town employee that empties the trash. And he's the one that spray painted over the graffiti. He said the town told him to go buy paint and keep up with it. I told him we appreciated him getting rid of especially the stuff that looked wrong. It was a good Pokemon oh, yeah. excuse, I swear. Rock puppy or... Rock rough. Rock rough. Yeah, he's only in raids and he can be shiny. Don says I was supposed to keep us on track while he went inside the ball fields to pick up trash. And I thought, oh, there's a puppy. I've got two extra minutes to do a local raid instead of using a remote pass. I just explained to Donnie that I, you know, saved coins. Be they Pokemon play coins or real Donnie coins, yeah. and that's why I stood there for We're two all minutes. Save a Donnie coin. Right, so standing there for two minutes waiting for the timer to go down was important. The roses here sure are looking pretty. You know, we picked up the trash on the way through the park, and then on the way back out of the park, there was already more trash down. That's just really sad. All right, I've got a flat of impatience and a flat of begonias to plant. And um, I'm going to do that. And then I might go get some more plants. We'll see what time it is. It's only a few minutes after 11 now. Wow, that tree has just gotten so big. Don's going to um, try to get the pot a little more straight. But I'm not planning on trimming it. And I can't move it because it's really in the ground. It would kill it. Um... I am going to get the wheelbarrow, the dirt we bought yesterday is in the van, and um, 
I'm going to start with the impatiens, all the places I had them last year that look so good, and then move on to the begonias. And, you know, I'm just going to do what feels good, what's fun. Put the flowers on there. It's A, it's grown more, and B, it's heavy. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to trim it back a little bit, but not until it's done flowering. All these ferns Don took the time to plant last year. They're doing great. I do come through and pull major weeds away from them when I mow. Try to keep, you know, them from being um, overgrown. The wheelbarrow's under the front porch, so that's why I'm over here. If you want a good laugh, I looked up, saw the black tubing, and thought it was a snake and jumped. Yeah. I think Don should have used blue everywhere like he did over here. <laughs> Meow. You gonna keep me company? Meow. Meow. That's a garbage truck up on the big street. <laughs> Come here. Oh, actually, it's a FedEx truck. You go hide. Off the driveway. Off the driveway. Off the driveway. Good boy. I don't know what FedEx is bringing today, but I'm actually going to start with the pot on both sides of the garage. I'll take out the first eight inches of dirt, mix it up with some fresh dirt, get all of the plant life growing in it out, and then put everything back. That one's not centered perfectly, but there were ants in that pot. I pull, I'll be blowing at the end. I pulled stuff out of here and put some fresh dirt on top. This one's maybe centered a little better. After it grows for a couple of weeks, you won't be able to tell. I have Tux and Marty. And Stripe's not too far either, but him and Tux are about to get into it, fighting over who was going to help me in the garden today. Yeah. I'm going to plant impatience over here again. The deer didn't eat them last year. Let's hope for luck two years in a row. That hosta's gotten a little bigger. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. To save a little money, I've decided not to replant this guy. He's got a piece of Dusty Miller and the corkscrew and the Creeping Jenny and this miniature looking petunia that's not a petunia. I went and cleaned all of the old stuff off as best I could and I sprinkled some new nice dirt on top and I think with a little TLC water it'll be, it'll look just fine. <laughs> Well, sure, her hands are all dirty because she's been digging in the dirt. That's right. I'm going to put you some impatience here. Oh, they so I can see. They were pretty out the kitchen window and when you were sitting at your desk yeah. last year. I have about a, a a foot gap where I can actually <laughs> see out the window below the uh, clean thing. Oh, goodness. If I can just... It's more ants today than it is mosquitoes. Every pot in the yard has ants in the pot, and it's just the way it is. So huh. Marty's keeping me company. Tucks and Stripe show up every once in a while and fight over me. And it's uh, it's kind of hot out here. Yeah, it's, it's it's a beautiful day though. I mean, look at that sun. I, I think mean, I pretty much put maybe in a couple hours I mean, you to know, go around and white puffy clouds and planted. stuff. I could just stick them in the pot, but I've been digging out a little dirt, putting in some fresh dirt. You know, I've been trying to set them up for success, so. Yeah, well, they were really good last year. Yeah. All right. Well, the planting is coming along good as far as the plants go. Doesn't Marty look cute? Stripe and Tux have continued to stop by and say hello. It's uh, going on two o'clock. I've been out here for three hours now. I got bit by a stupid ant on my ring finger. I took my ring off immediately my fingers twice the normal size um that's a real bummer but uh other than that i'm doing okay i was out of commission for about 15 minutes i went and i blew the driveway and i've got gloves on now i hate gloves it is what it is Hello. Don bought me a Benadryl. My whole left hand is swollen. And um, I got bite up my arm. But nothing on the right side and no feet bites or anything. So 
I got everything planted. I have one begonia left. I literally one out of a six pack. Hey Morris. He's showing up for the afternoon. I need a coleus, another six pack of begonia for here and down by the bridge. A couple more coleus and maybe a pack of wave runner petunias to stick in a few places and that's probably be good. Marty. <laughs> Marty. Morris, let me go get Johnny. See if he wants to come out and give you a belly rub. Good, good kitties. Good kitties. We're headed to the landfill and uh, Don took the time to spray the crap off the van. Yay! We saw two Model 3s and we're not even uh, into Fuquay yet. Just uh, past, just at the community center and on, on uh, near the environmental park. park. Yep. yep. I, uh, That's, what is that, two per mile? I had me a little quick nap with the little black cat. That Benadryl really knocked me out. I'm just along for the ride here. It's a good thing Don's driving. I typically have a very strong reaction to Benadryl, so. But that's a good thing because we want her to be out of pain. Right. We don't want her to have a histamine oh. reaction. Right. Well, mostly I'm just... Uh, it's about a two right now, maybe a three. I've got things that are swollen that shouldn't be, and the swelling feels not so great. That's what I like to see. You at the garden center hauling my plants. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm about got what I wanted. Yep. Coleus. Zinnias, a few more begonia, some uh, salvia, and some fancy um, petunias. That's pretty with the new growth. I have a lifetime supply of Creeping Jenny. I don't need any more. And this stuff here, I have the hardest time keeping it alive. It doesn't like our yard too good. Hellebore is really spread in our house, so I'm good on that, too. All right, I don't have a lot of time to visit and take pictures today, but I did get all of the stuff I was looking for. Dom was very patient. Didn't frown even once while I was putting stuff in the cart. <laughs> I should be able to finish planting now. Some really nice Japanese maples if you're looking for, you know, one that's already grown. You got everything so those boxes come in handy for something. Yes ma'am, they did great. The cat Perfect food. The cat food was in them today that came from Chewy. Alright, we're all done at the landfill. Till next time. Yep. Headed to Mr. Ball's. Yep. Oh, we come in here and all we could smell is strawberries. I think Johnny's gonna be a happy camper. We're gonna have to take some. It's dangerous home. bringing Don into Walmart. No air conditioning in the van, so I don't want to sit out in the van. Yeah, Got this is where motor and all that stuff. So that's where the electric car is way better. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's got sticker shock though. He has sticker shock anyway, and then add inflation, and it's like we yeah. bought some command strips. They're never cheap. I didn't look at the price. I didn't want to know. Hey, how come it doesn't pop up the back? Because I didn't buy the touring edition, and I wish I had. That would have got me backup camera and a automatic lift gate. I may be making ice cream, but the uh, main course is spaghetti squash and meatballs.